Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Aben Life Insider Tips. And this time I have five or technically six tips and tricks and things you might not know about freezing and flattening tracks. And there have been quite a few changes with Life 12. So we're going to go through all of them. So the first one is we got a freeze shortcut finally. So you can find freezing through the edit menu under freeze track here and you can see there's a shortcut on windows it's control shift alt and f and for mac it's command shift alt and f quite clunky in my opinion but that's what we got so let's select this track and freeze it so it works then i'm actually going to undo this the second thing that's new in Live 12 is there's now a freeze and flatten track command, but it does not have a shortcut at the moment, but you can do everything at once. So it actually has created this audio clip now for us, and there's now an audio track and no longer a MIDI instrument on it. So that also works. I'm doing this as well. So now we're back to the MIDI. One thing to mention is also as of Live 12.2, which currently is still in beta, but is probably going to be released fairly soon, the freeze and flatten track and flatten commands have been renamed to bounce track in place. So I'm in the beta right now. And so when I select the edit menu, you can see, first of all, it's been rearranged a little bit here. So it's got its own section. And you can see if you've got freeze track still as a command, but then you have bounce track in place. Also new in Live 12.2 is bounce to new track, which you can also already see here currently grayed out because for this you have to select something. So let's do this. And so, for example, it works in both views. So I could just select this clip. And you could see here already in the edit menu that it had a shortcut. So control B for Windows and command B for Mac, which is easy to remember as well. Initially was a much longer shortcut and they've changed it, which is great. And so now we can just do this command and it actually creates a new audio track with the bounced audio. So let's do the same thing also in the arrangement view because what is nice there is it's got some extra features as well so i'm just going to select a part here that i want to bounce to a new track and so i'm going to do the shortcut again so command b in my case control b for windows and as you can see it creates a new track again that's an audio track and it bounces just the section that you have selected and in the original track, it actually deactivates that part. The way this works is it's pre-mixer. So any of the settings here, if you've, for example, took it down to say minus 12 or whatever, or changed the panning, that would be ignored. But it is post effects. So if you have any effects on the initial track, then those would be basically bounced into this new audio file. And the bounced files will be in the samples folder in your life project under samples processed and bounce. I actually recently did a tutorial video on how you can set shortcuts on Mac for things in app menus that don't have a shortcut, also change shortcuts, which is something that I find very useful because what I did, I have taken that out for this video tutorial, is that I've actually created my own shortcut for freeze track, which is control F, and then I have a freeze and flatten track shortcut as well. So I can just use that quickly and I have a bunch of others as well. So I'm gonna link this tutorial. For Windows, I only have some tips of how we could do the same thing basically. So when you've frozen a track, let's freeze it again. You can actually also basically do the same thing as the flattening does, but without getting rid of the original track with all the devices on it and settings so you can make changes later on if you realize that you actually 
need to change something, then what you can do is you can simply drag the clip or clips if you multi-select and hold Alt pressed onto an audio track. And now you can see we have an audio track with the audio clip from the Frozen MIDI track. And then there's a new experimental feature called Group Freeze Track. So basically you can freeze and flatten various tracks within a group into one audio file. This is just an options text command at this point. It does not quite work as consistently as I would like, but hopefully once it will, it will be included in life as an actual feature. And so what you need is an options text file, and then you have to add this command here. If you don't know about the options text commands, then I'm going to link a tutorial of others as well. I've got a whole tutorial about lots of different extra features you can add this way and how it all works. And so once you've done that, so I've got a group track here and I've got MIDI clips in here. And let's say I want this all printed as an audio file then what I can do now is do freeze track or freeze and flatten track. So if I freeze and flatten, you can see what it didn't do. And that seems to be consistently the case is it doesn't create an audio file for the clips in session view. Maybe that has to do with their different lengths. I'm not sure, but it has created an audio file for the group and if I undo this and I just play those clips you can see that it's actually recreated an audio file of the group track so since it's not working quite as consistently and it at least in my case I couldn't get it to work for session clips if you want to do this then what you can do is use a workaround. And for this, you need to create a new MIDI track. And then we're going to go to audio facts and add the compressor on it. And we're going to unfold this here so we can side chain. Then we're going to side chain the group track, make sure that the headphone symbol is on and also making sure that the EQ is off because we don't want to make any changes to the sound unless you do want to do that. And then we're going to have to create a MIDI clip with the length that we want. So for example, let's say we want 16 bars and then we can simply freeze or freeze and flatten the track. And you can see it's created an audio file this way as well. Yep, that's it for freezing and flattening. And um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.